Hello Year 8 students and parents, this is Mrs Court speaking. We're going to go through a short presentation letting you know what your subjects will look like in years 9 and 10. There will still be the compulsory subjects that you've known and done in Year 7 and 8. We'll still continue with English, Mathematics, Science, HISI which covers Geography and History and PDHPE which will include compulsory sport. Next year for sport, though, you'll be able to choose electives and go off-site for school sports. But the exciting part is that next year you'll be able to choose two elective subjects. That's out of 20 different choices that we have. We have a huge range of subjects, so no matter what you're interested in, there will be something that you will like, something that you enjoy. But just remember, these are subject selections. That doesn't mean that you necessarily get them. This is a selection of preferences only. Bear in mind that if only two students pick a particular course, we can't staff that, we can't run it. So depending on student numbers, some electives may not run. It might be there's not enough students, or it might be that we don't have enough rooms to run that subject, or we don't have enough staff. So we're hoping you can get the subjects that you pick, but just bear in mind, just because you've chosen something doesn't mean that you're going to necessarily get that subject. But we have lots of options. If you're a creative student, there's subjects like textiles technology, where you work with fabrics and make lots of wonderful designs. There's music, if you enjoyed music in Year 7 and 8, and you can extend on that. Visual arts, photographic and digital media, where you can create videos and multimedia and drama for those of us that have so much talent that we want to share. We also have lots of electives around computing and technology, computing studies, multimedia computers, graphic technology and STEM. All of those are just wonderful choices if that's an area of interest for you. And of course we've still got our humanities, things like commerce where we look at banking and finance and profits and planning and running businesses. And if you're really enjoying geography or history, you can choose to do elective geography and elective history and do even more in Year 9 and 10. But we've got lots of industrial technology electives as well. So apart from industrial technology multimedia, there's also industrial technology engineering, industrial technology metals and industrial technology timber. And if you're after practical subjects, subjects like agriculture where you can work in the ag plot and learn how to um, do crops and look after animals, food technology which will be like home ec that you did in year seven and eight and pass physical activity and sports studies. Very popular choices for those that want to be out and about. And two final great options. French. Some of us love our languages and you can continue studying French into year 9 and 10. And if you're looking at something to do with families and people and possibly childcare, child studies is an excellent elective as well. Some of these subjects though do require materials. So many elective subjects have a subject cost. Just can you make sure that you talk to your parents about these prior to selecting the subjects. A lot of the subjects are free, don't cost you anything, and the most expensive subject is up to $57. The Stage 5 Prospectus that's on the website has all the details for the course costs, and if you don't think that you can afford a course, we don't want you not picking it for the money. If you really want to do a course and you're having trouble financially, please see your year advisor or your deputy or myself, Mrs Courts, and we can organise some financial assistance for you. Some very important information. Subject selections are a really exciting part of your school journey, but you need to really think about what you're choosing. Choose subjects that interest you. Choose something you will enjoy. Many students will pick subjects because their friends are picking it, or they'll pick a subject because they think a certain teacher will take it, or they might avoid a certain um, subject because they think a teacher will take it. Don't choose based on your friends or who you think the teacher will be. Similarly, you don't need to worry about what courses you might do when you're 11 and 12. There are no prerequisites. It doesn't matter what you do in year 9 and 10. You can do any of the courses when you get to year 11 and 12. Just make sure you want to study the subject that you choose, though, because you may not get your first and second choice. When you do do your preferences, we're going to put them in order. Your first choice is the thing you most want. Your second choice is your next possible. You may not get your first two choices, so we're asking you for two reserved choices. And again, put them in order, first and second. But please don't select a reserved jump subject thinking that you won't get it, because you may. So when making your subjects, 
think about what you enjoy, think about what you're passionate in and be mindful that if you've chosen it, that might be what you get, even if it's a reserve. So if you've done your subjects and you get into next year in nine and 10 and you go, well, can I change my subjects? Well, for most students, whatever elective they have, they study it for a full two years for year nine and 10. Possibly sometimes there may be changes because it's in a student's best interest. The deputy will have a look, consider if you're capable of doing all the work and seeing if they can possibly assess you properly in the new subject. It will become a deputy choice. What's the selection process? Well, first off, watch, watching this video, there's also a video there by Mr. Sproul and Miss Adam and a video from the big picture staff. Look at the prospectus on the website that has more information about what courses are like and their fees. Go to your school email and find your login details that you'll need for your online submission. Then start th talking to your family, talking to your friends, think and pick the subjects you'd like to do. And when you're ready, use that how to input your subjects guide and go online and input your subjects. And just make sure to do so before Monday the 21st of September at 2.30. When you do your online selections, I made a reference to the guide. Just have a look at it. Basically, you can see on the screen, it's a very simple process. Go to the website, click, input your code that'll be emailed to you, and you just do drop down menus and you select subjects for your two preferences, your two reserves. It will come up with a summary. And what I'd like you to do is either print a copy of that for yourself or email a copy of that for yourself. Have a look at the um, submission guide on the website. It and you'll be able to follow it through as you go. Now, another thing that you can do in nine and 10 as an alternative is big picture education. Big picture education is an alternate pathway. Students will still cover all the syllabus outcomes by studying a project that they're interested in. So most of your learning is done in the big picture class rather than mainstream classes, even though you can do two subjects in mainstream classes. If you're in big picture, you must do a learning through internship where you go out once a day out of school and are mentored in a work environment. There is an application process. There's also a two-week trial. If you want more information, watch the big, big, picture, big picture video or go and have a ch chat to the big picture staff or your deputy. So, lots of questions, very possibly. Again, on the website, there's a frequently asked questions guide talking about what do you do if you can't get onto your emails, what happens if you don't need internet at home, what do you need to consider when you're picking electives, what if you want more information, do you need to select your preferences quickly? No, selections will be open until the closing date. If you input your selection the minute they open, that doesn't put you ahead of someone that inputs their selection a minute before it closes. So don't, don't rush. And if you input your selections, you can change your mind. You can change them as many times as you want. But whatever your choices are on the day and the time that we close them off, that's what will be recorded as your selections. Can you change subjects after they've been allocated? At the very start of next year, there's a small possibility that perhaps you'll be able to change your subjects if you've changed your mind. However, that will be subject to what's available there. Your choices may be limited. So have a really good think. Make sure you're careful. Talk to your parents. Talk to your friends. And remember, make sure that you get your online submission in by Monday the 21st of September at 2.30 make sure so you get the choices you want and start enjoying your new experience of high school where you study subjects that you're interested in. Thank you Year 8, we really look forward to seeing you absolutely flourish and have a great time in Year 9.